Hi, everybody. Laura here. So glad you are joining me today. I am honored to be part of the Simon Says Stamp You Have My Heart release blog hop. And here's a project that I'm going to be making on the video today. It's using some of my most favorite products out of the release. Here's the dies. Perfect Shapes. That's the name of them. They coordinate with the Perfect Shape stamp set. Could possibly be my favorite die set and stamp set ever in the history of ever. Okay, here's the card stocks I use. Navy, Audrey Blue, Sea Glass, Doll Pink. Got a little glitter gold going on. Here's the gold. The foil cardstock came out of this foil pack. You can get these in the Simon's to Stamp store. And then the glitter one is also um, out of this glitter paper pack, six by six. And then I did one pattern paper, kind of a coordinating color. This is Pink Fresh Studio. I think that's what you call it. Came out of a card kit, but you can buy the pattern paper individually. Also in the Simon's Stamp store. Okay, so once I got all these, five million of these hexagons die cut, it was like a good, good upper arm workout after eating all those Christmas cookies. I just got a good burn on my tricep. No, not really, but anyhow. So I'm lining these up. I, I kind of use my grid mat there to help me get things straight if I can. When I do this, I feel like I've got control in my world and everything feels so nice and orderly, unlike my house, which looks like pretty much looks like a hurricane hit it. So once I get these all lined, you know, you know, I'm going to pull out the press and seal. Before I adhere the press and seal on, though, I'm going to just remove the gold foil ones because um, because I've tried this a couple times now. This is not my first time. OK, and I realize that the press and seal kind of leaves a little bit of residue. You don't really notice it, except for you do notice it on the foil cardstock. Kind of leaves like these little dots. So uh, now I know that I removed the gold foil ones before I do the present seal. Anyhow, okay, so look at this. I love how these all stay in order. One little, one little glitter one didn't stick. That's okay. We'll adhere it later on down the road. I'm using a little foam tape. I'm gonna pop up some of the hexagons and then I'm gonna adhere some of the hexagons with a little multi matte medium glue. So some of them be popped up, some are not gonna be popped up. Just a little bit of, you know, like dimension. Some pop, some not pop, a little like little surprise happening there. Texture, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so every time I use press and seal, <laughs> this is kind of a, a running joke in my family. Every time I pull it out, I think of Ken McGuire. You guys know Jennifer McGuire's husband invented press and seal, right? So I pull it out. I immediately think of Ken McGuire and then I look for somebody in the house and then I'm like, do you guys know, you know, my friend Jennifer McGuire and they're like, mom, are you seriously uh, like my, my 15 year old daughter? Are you serious, mom? Are you seriously going to tell us that her husband invented press and seal again? Are you serious? And I just feel like I need to tell somebody every time I pull it out, like I need to inform the masses how awesome it is that I have met the inventor of press and seal, okay? See, I just like, I don't know why they can't just humor me. So moving on to the car, now I'm gonna remove the press and seal. You see how easy it is to transfer this hexagon design all in one fell swoop? Everything stays in place for the most part. Some of the ones that are adhered with a multi matte medium are kinda sliding around because they're not permanently adhered yet, but that's okay. You can, they got a little wiggle room before it's dry that you can like, slide them around and get them in the right spot. I've got one there that went crooked. That was my fault. I just pulled it off of the foam tape and then put it right back in place where it's supposed to be. And then I'll go ahead and adhere the rest of those hexagons, the gold foil ones that are off to the right. I'll pop those up with a little foam tape and we'll be good to go moving on to the sentiment. Okay. The big U dies. Look at that big U. I'm in love with it. I die cut it on some gold foil cardstock because you know, I'm fancy schmancy like that. I mean, look how classy that gold foil looks on top of this hexagon pattern. I can't even, I can't even. And then we got the thank that I embossed on a little sentiment strip of doll pink. I embossed it in white. This thank is from the big U words stamp set, coordinates with the big U dies. Oh yes, this is a fabulous release. Here's the card, all finished. I'm in love with it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your hop. Have a wonderful day. Go check out the You Have My Heart release over at the Simons the Stamp store. It's going to knock your socks off. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next time.